Hello, Jenny Hall here for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I'm sharing a project created with Paradise Blooms Stamp and Die Set. This is new from the Hello Summer release in the Honey Bee Store. I'm also going to be using some powdered watercolors and these are the Nouveau Shimmer Powders. I'm going to start out by cutting some small pieces of Arches watercolor paper and then using purple tape to secure them down. This paper is going to get very, very wet and so I want it to be able to stay in place, not buckle up too much, and that way when it dries, it will still hold its shape. I'm using several different of the shimmer powders and this is my very first time to be using them. I know I'm a little bit late to the game, but there are so many products out there to use that sometimes it takes me a bit to catch up. But I can say that I absolutely love the Nouveau Shimmer Powders. You can see here as I start to add some water exactly how vibrant they are. I was very generous with the powder because I want there to be really intense colors. There should be a few ways that you can apply these powders to a piece of watercolor paper. The method that I chose to use was to start with a dry piece of paper, sprinkle on a little bit of the powder, and then add some water from the dispressed sprayer. Now, there were still lots of clumps, and so you can see here that I used an old paintbrush and I tried to use just the back handle of the paintbrush in some instances because that red and pink really stained the bristles and I didn't want to cross contaminate these beautiful colors. And I just adore that green. Isn't it so beautiful? Oh my goodness. And this was so much fun. Now I mixed up the two colors here on this middle bottom panel and so I've got a little bit of the darker green mixed together with the lighter green and continuing to use that back part of the paintbrush to mix things around a little bit. Now I want to kind of move the fluid around a little bit. So I picked up my work surface, which is the Tim Holtz media mat, the glass mat, and I just picked that whole thing up and tilted it from one side to another, and I'm encouraging that fluid to move around. There was one thing that I would offer as a piece of advice, is as the fluid pools up in between all of the different colors, there could be some overflow and spillage into the next color so be very careful and that make sure you put your panels far enough apart now i'm going to stamp directly on these dried panels i'm using versafine onyx black ink because this is a pigment ink it's a permanent ink and it will apply nicely on top of this now non-porous surface I'm not sure exactly how much water reaction I can get from on top of those powders, but I don't want to take a chance of messing up the beautiful color. So I went through each one of the panels and did the stamping with the same stamp pad and it worked out just right. Now on this image of ginger, I'm trying to make sure that I get the leaf portion stamped, not worrying about the flowers, and vice versa on the red. And because this ink is very slow drying, I made sure to give it a little encouragement with my heat tool. I wasn't sure how well the powder and the stamp pad would stick to the watercolor paper, so I pop down a piece of printer paper underneath the die cuts and I'm sure glad I did because as dry as I thought that ink was it still had a little bit more to go so that keeps my cutting plates from getting all yucky with wet ink. Now I'm going to take the red and the dark blue the dark, dark green pieces of the ginger and I've cut away the flower 
on the leaf die cut and then I've cut away the additional red part so that it won't show beyond the leaves and put these two together with a little bit of paper piecing and so now I have this beautiful red ginger that is just going to jump off of the paper it's so vibrant and gorgeous the shimmer powders are so shiny it's like they have a pearl tone to them and they are gorgeous now I want to add a background and so I'm doing the second generation of ink technique by applying some ink to the stamp first stamping it off on a piece of scrap paper which in this case is printer paper and then use the residual ink that's on the stamp to go down to the paper and you see that it's a shade lighter that's going to give the eye somewhere to rest in the background now i'm going to use all of these beautiful die cuts and i think there were maybe one or two leaves that i ended up not using but in my experience it's best to have a little bit more and save them for later than not have enough for the design now i'm mixing around and arranging all these beautiful flowers and greenery and i just love how how much shine and shimmer they have some of these colors are so vibrant and summery that it's it's like a total tropical feel that i can feel when looking at this card i'm not really a fan of bright reds and golden yellows mixed together i like them separately but there's something about this shimmer powder that just it's so beautiful i if you haven't tried it like i had not i encourage you to give it a go it's not an expensive coloring tool and it's going to last a very long time according to how much i used from the little bottle it was just a lot of fun and there are tons of colors out there available i wanted to add a heat embossed sentiment and being as it's embossed on black cardstock on top of all those vibrant colors, then that was going to really allow the sentiment to stand out. Plus, it would bring in all of those black stamped lines and kind of make the design a little bit more cohesive. So I'm adding some liquid glue and just popping everything back on the front of the card and then I will use some Hot Tropics gem stickers. These, this is a full page of adhesive backed rhinestones that are in some very vibrant summery colors and they had some that were orange and I just popped those orange little gems right there in the center of all those beautiful little flowers and then grabbed a few yellow and some green ones for the background just to kind of draw the eye around and that's the card i had so much fun creating this and it was just it was just wonderful i hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and i hope to see you again next time